Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to go over how to set up a Facebook business page. So this will be a step-by-step -step, uh, video on how you can set up a Facebook page from scratch for your business. Um, so if you already have a business page uh, on Facebook, this video is not for you. However, if you do not have a business page or you have one and it's not optimized and it's not performing as you would like it to, then this video is for you. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer here. I'm going to show you how to set up a page step by step from scratch. Let's go. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is log into your Facebook account. If you don't already have a Facebook profile or a Facebook account, you'll have to go ahead and sign up for one. Very easy to do, just go sign up for Facebook, go to Facebook and sign up. Once you create an account, it'll look something like this. If you look on the top bar up here, if you go all the way to the right, you'll see a plus sign. This plus sign, you'll need to click it. And you can see here, this is where you can create a page, ad group, event. So if you wanted to create a Facebook group, this is where you would do it as well. For the sake of this video, we're gonna go over creating a business page. So click the tab right here where it says page. Once you get that, you'll see this looks, um, this is your display on the left-hand side is where you can put some information in. Right here on the display, they updated it to where you can now do desktop or mobile. So you could view, you could look at the um, preview of either of these so you could see how it looks um, from a consumer standpoint or from your audience. So for the, um, let's go ahead and go over to the left-hand side where it says page information. Page name for this page, we'll create this, we'll just call it Sapphire Auto detailing. This is where your business name will go. Um, you'll have to pick a category. What kind of business is this? Um, if you, you'll see, I could type in um, auto and you'll see stuff pops up. Um, auto detailing service. You could pick more than one. Um, auto, obviously it's, mine's a car wash. I could do car wash. Um, so this will have different ones and you can see right here if you look at the preview in the center of the screen uh, Underneath my brand name. It says what we are we're auto detailing service So the very first um, Keyword that you put in or first category will be what is displayed for your audience um, Then you want to put a quick description about your business here Whatever your description is you have a character limit as you can see here of 255 words um, So I do highly recommend you use as much as that as possible for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it super simple because I don't want to type anything out because this is just a simple page. Um, I'll just put we are a full service auto detailing company with over 20 years of experience. So we'll keep it short and sweet experience um, for the sake of this video. And then once you have that, you'll want to hit create page and give it a second it's creating the page once it's created it'll, you'll be able to edit more so you can now add images so now it allows you to add images so we'll just hit x you can see right here now that the page is created you'll want to do a profile photo um you'll want to you'll want to make sure your profile photo looks good i've already created some so i'm gonna drag and drop them here oh it actually it didn't let me drag and drop i'll hit add profile picture and then i'll just drag and drop it here and i'll hit open and then you can see that is going to be my profile image right here. Obviously, you're going to want to make this be as presentable and look as good as possible. I could have did something better than this to where it fits better. Um, but uh, for this, obviously, I just did something really quick. For you to create a logo, if you don't already have a logo, which I'm assuming most people do. But if you don't have a logo already, you can just go ahead and go over to Canva.com. And it's a free um, template logo creator and you can do all kinds of stuff in canva if you need me to create a video on canva i will just post in the comments below um but upload your your photo right here for your logo and then your cover photo is going to be the photo you see in the background right here so you'll want to add a cover photo that also represents your business we'll just drop this picture here um it'll be a picture of a car um and you could drag to reposition this one so if you're inside of the image right here on the left you could drag it up and down to reposition it to what suits best what you like and then you'll just click save um again if you want to view this after it saves okay well if you wanted to view it in mobile you could have viewed it in mobile um and then we could also view it right here too but we're not gonna do that just yet so this is what our page looks like currently most people when they get to this part of creating their facebook page is when they think they are done um but that couldn't be an 
more like more incorrect. Um, like you're not done right now. There's so much more you need to do to optimize your page. So the very first thing I want you to do is this button right here where it says add a button. You'll want to click that. And here you'll have a bunch of different actions of what you want the page with that button to do. So that button could be follow, view gift card, call now, contact us if you have a website, send us a message. Whatever you want your audience to do, this will be your call to action button. Um, probably contact us or choose receive calls, whatever. I'm just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna hit send message. So what that means is if they ever click this button, it'll send them to the messenger. If you did a website one, you would want to link your website and then you would wanna make sure this button worked. Um, you can see right here in the blue, it says create username. So I highly recommend you do this. Sometimes it doesn't let you do it right away. Let's see if it lets us. Um, we'll just type in uh, Seth, our username. I usually wanna keep it the same as your business if you can, Sapphire Auto Detailing. And then just click off of it. See if it's not available, it's not available. So, and then you have to play with this and see if it's available. So Sapphire Detailing, uh, Car Detailing. So there's a bunch. So I'll probably just, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna add a, a, a number, um, 101. And then I'll hit Create Username. It has been created, so done. So now you can see it shows you right here, it edits the messenger. So it makes it easy for you to give your messenger link to somebody to message you. It's m.me forward slash Sapphire Auto Detailing 101. Um, that will be used for search purposes and stuff like that as well. It makes it easier to find. It's just another way for people to find your company. All right, so as you can see, this is what your page will look like. And it shows you right here that your page is, you still have a couple steps left, but we'll go over that. Um, it shows you different things, page tips, how to create ads, um, in the insights and stuff about your, about your page. And you can see none of this is filled out yet. So we're going to need to fill all of this out. Um, and then page transparency, but this is just what your page looks like from your perspective, not from your, um, not a preview of what your audience sees. Your audience won't see your insights and your page tips and stuff, obviously. So let's go over here to the manage page. This is the page we're currently on. If you click the drop down, if you have multiple pages, it will show you those pages. Um, right now we're on the page. There's also the news feed. There's updates. If you have any updates, you can view your updates here. So let's see if I click it. It says this is our one update. Um, you can manage the shop if you have a shop set up. Um, I don't. If you want to set up a shop for, um, you can see where people go look at products you have for sale or whatever it has. Uh, we don't have a shop, so we're not going to set that up. Inbox will be your messenger inbox. Um, we're not going to wait for that to load, so I'm just going to go back. Um, inbox, anybody that is pretty familiar with inbox, it's just where your messages where your messages are going to go. If anybody um, sends you a message, you saw that that was what I created our call to action button was to send a message. Those can be viewed in the inbox. Um, business app store, um, that's not important for this video. Resources and tools, this is some places for you to go if you just want to learn more about your Facebook pages and stuff like that. It's just just different blog articles and tools and stuff to help you optimize your Facebook page. Manage jobs, this is if you have any jobs, if you're looking to hire people and stuff like that, you could post job applications under your manage jobs. Um, notifications, again, this is just notifications like you get with anything. Um, so you could view those here. Insights, these are not going to be super important for you right now. Later on, once your page has um, been performing and you have posts and stuff like that, you can come into your insights and you can actually see what's happening on your page activity wise, um, who's engaging with it, like the um, genders and stuff like that. Um, you could click on any of these versus like post reach and you can just look at more data, obviously to help you optimize your page for your business. Um, but again, that's not super important just yet um, because your page is new. So let's go back over here to uh, the, the uh, manage page. Publishing tools, you don't really need to worry about. Ad center, you don't need to worry about. Page quality just shows you that you are in no restrictions or violations currently and I hopefully not in the future either, but you can see your page quality here. All right, so now I know that 
didn't really cover much of anything, but I hope you saw how to navigate this. Now on the left hand side, what's going to be important is going to be these last two tabs. So let's start with edit page info. So page info right here is um, what we kind of already did. We did some of it. We did the name, we did our username, we did our description, um, our categories. Again, you can put multiple categories here if you have more than one category. And then now you're gonna need the contact information. Uh, you'll wanna put your phone number here if your business has a phone number. If it does not, just click right here. My page does not have a phone number. Um, if you have a WhatsApp phone number, um, you can put that here as well. It's another communication way. If it does not have a WhatsApp number, go ahead and push here as well. Um, and then we can just, I'm just gonna hit cancel right now. Um, you can put your email here. You can put your website here. And then the location of your, um, your business. So let's just go ahead and do, we'll just do one, two, three, four, Tampa, Florida. And that's gonna be our location, right? And then you can put your location in and it will show up on the map. I messed that up, but it'll show up on the map whenever somebody looks um, in the area. If you service an area, you would wanna put it in here, how far, like, so we're an auto detailing business, we travel, supposedly, that's what this is for. We'll um, put our service area, maybe we travel within 30 miles of Tampa, right? So I would put our service area here um, and what have you. Um, hours available, you can put no hours, always open, open on selected hours. Um, I would put, you put your hours here, I'm just gonna click always open, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna fill all that out. Um, temporary service changes. I guess this is something new. You could put temporary changes uh, if you're probably with everything going on. Um, if there's hours and stuff that are different than normal. It says, yeah, it says right here why um, these have been updated. So you could put more of your privacy policy and stuff like this in here if you need to and prices, um, not super important. Um, and once you're done with all of that, it'll save. Once you fill all that, it automatically saves. And then you'll want to come over here onto the last tab where it says settings. And this is where most of your stuff is going to be. Um, this is where you're gonna edit most of your stuff to optimize your page. So right here, we're currently under the general tab. And this is something you're gonna to wanna to come in and look at. This general tab is going to be pretty much your general settings. What do you want for your page? So like, for example, if you have age restrictions, um, country restrictions, tagging restrictions, messaging restrictions, any restrictions you want, you can put in here. You can put profanity filters on or off um, and stuff like that. So, and then comment ranking, you could do so much stuff right here. So you'll wanna come in here and look at this yourself and do this, um, change this, um, according to what you need your business, like page moderation, you could block words if you want to block certain words. Um, again, turn on the profanity filter. This is totally up to you and your business, so I can't really help you with it. But come in here, read all of these, and see what you need to change. If you need to change anything, just click the edit tab on the right and add any restrictions you have. Now, let's go ahead and move forward over here to the messaging tab. Messaging is going to be um, kind of important. Um, we're definitely going to talk about this because. This is where uh, you're gonna get a lot of business from your Facebook is through messaging, as long as you're willing to use messaging. So if you're not going to be using messaging, then make sure it's turned off. I right, currently, your messenger conversation, so just scroll down here, because this is what's important, is starting a mes messenger conversation. Um, so show a greeting. So when you go to somebody's page and it pops up on the bottom right-hand side and says, hey, um, so-and-so would like to connect or this page, do you have any questions? Feel free to ask any questions. So I would want to turn this on as long as you're willing to accept messages. Again, you're gonna to want to respond or have somebody on your team respond to these. Otherwise, there's no purpose of having this on. So right here, you could turn it on and then it will show you what it will look like. Let's go ahead and hit change and it'll give you a little bit of a, um, a better preview. So it says right here um, what it would say if somebody had a question. Um, my greeting is currently this. I would kind of change it. It says, hi, full name of the recipient. I'm not a big fan of using full names. So I would exit this. I would actually type the word, hey, this is personal preference. Um, add personalization, is personalization, like the first name, last name, stuff like that. I would put first name of recipient. Hey, Austin. Um, Thanks for getting in touch with us on Messenger. I wanna put on Messenger, um, I would just put today. Um, please send us any questions you may have and then just click save. 
So that will be your message that is on your screen, on your page screen that pops up automatically. And then when somebody responds to that, we'll, we'll look at, um, you, you scroll down right here, it says during a messenger conversation, you can set up automated responses if you want. If you don't have someone on your team actively sitting there to respond to these right away, or you don't have your notifications turned on, or you're busy, you can always turn these on. So right here, it says automated responses, instant reply, you could turn it on. You see that? And then you could just click it. And then it says instant reply is on. Um, this is exactly what's going to happen. Thanks for contacting us. We've received your message or you could hit edit message. So you can hit edit message. Timing can be sent immediately. Customize the message you send. Um, thanks for, and you can put whatever you put. Thanks for contacting us. We've received your message. We've received your message. Appreciate you reaching out. Um, and then you could, you can make this more personal, like let them know that this is a bot. Um, someone from our team, someone from our team will get in touch with you in the next hour or however um how, however you have this set up for your business obviously it's totally up for you um until then feel free feel free to browse our newest product collection and here is a tim percent off coupon code for your purchase something like that you want to give them something of value especially if you're going to make them wait for a response if you do have somebody on your team um steadily readily available uh to respond to these messages as they come in then yeah you don't have to give anything away from free that's ultimately up to your own discretion um but I always do like to, if we have active coupon codes, I, I personally like to put them in our messenger bot. That way um, our audience does get access to those. Um, so that's pretty much it right here. You'll then just want to click save. It'll save it and you can, it'll be ready to go. Uh, there's more like away messages. I never turn those on. I don't like that. If you look over here on the left hand side though, you're able to, when you're in the messages box, you can navigate all of your messages from Facebook Messenger to Instagram um, DMs, as well as your comments on both Facebook and Instagram. So you can do more about that here if you need to. And you can see them like if I was to click comments on Facebook, it's going to take me over to my comment box. And we obviously don't have any. Um, and as far as Instagram goes, I'll show you in just a minute how you could integrate your Instagram page. So let's go ahead and go back to our homepage and scroll back down to settings. And then let's move on to our next tab. Our next tab will be templates and tabs. So for those of you who don't know that what these are, let's actually, let's go back to our Facebook profile page right here. And you'll see that there's tabs right here. We got home, reviews, shop, services, and then you have your drop down menu of more, right? So these are the tabs and you can change these. And how you do that is go to settings, templates and tabs. And these are the tabs right here and in the exact order that we just saw them, reviews, shop, services, and then the other ones. So there's this toggle switch right here. If it's blue and you see the toggle switch is toggled on, it will be able to be viewed. Um, if there's no toggle switch, it goes into that more drop down menu, which will be all of these that you see here. So let's say I don't want reviews turned on. I want to turn those off and I want offers turned on then I could turn offers on I can move it um, around in any order I want um, I could have shop listed first or and then services and then offers and then all of the rest so let's go ahead and go back to our page and you can see that shop services offers and then all of the rest that you cannot toggle on or off those are right there so let's go back to settings templates and tabs and let's discuss the template the template is what the actual like layout or the format is of your page um, based off of your uh, based off of what Facebook thinks and, and currently we are services you can see it's recommended designed to help people find your services and get in touch so it, it works for us because we're service-based business 
if we were like a, a let's say a restaurant then we would probably want to use the restaurant one where it's designed to highlight photos and important info about your menu again there's one for shopping videos and so you would just want to pick what's best for your business but if you're a service-based business i highly recommend so does facebook for you to use the service template um now let's back out and look on the left hand side again and start going down event ticketing is for if you hold events you'll have to connect to Eventbrite. This allows you to sell um, tickets for events. Obviously, we're not going to get into that in this video because it has not, it doesn't have to do with a lot of people. But if you need to do that, you could manage your events right here inside of your event ticketing tab. Notifications. Again, that's just going to be notifications um, for all of your stuff. Oh, actually, this is going to be setting up your notification setting. Um, this is important. So if you want notifications like to pop up on your phone or your computer, all day long, then you can leave this on. Um, I don't recommend you do that though. So, because you're going to get so many notifications for everything, page check-ins, mentions, reviews, comments, and so much more. So what you can do is you could either come in here and toggle which notifications you want and which notifications you don't want, or you can schedule notifications once per day. Um, so it's either one of these two. You could, you could turn notifications off completely if you want. I'm just going to cancel. You could turn it off completely by toggle toggling the switch right here you can pick which notifications you want with this first selection right here or you could just get notified once per day on all activity and updates on your page that's what i recommend if that's what you want to do or to set up exactly which ones are important to you and to me what is important is usually a message um, a review and sometimes a comment if you got somebody to manage the comments that i highly recommend you pay attention to that so i i, I do like to have messages on um reviews on comments on again there's show more you can go in here and look at everything i don't want all of this stuff on personally i want to respond to people when they message me or comment me and if they leave a review i usually want to know just in case it's a bad review we could address it as soon as possible um so you do that right here in the notifications tab um, advanced messaging we're not going to get into in this video but this is where you're going to set up your bots and stuff to actually um, have like you can do third-party stuff and stuff in here so you can set up bots to actually have conversations with your audience inside of here um, so that would be set up right here in advanced messaging that's more obviously for advanced and not a new page so that's not going to be on this video on um, page roles. This is where you will assign other page roles like admins and moderators. I don't recommend you um, assign more admins because admins can do anything you want to the page. Um, if you have a business owner or something, like a business partner, then maybe they will be an admin outside of that. You can do editors. They're allowed to edit stuff, moderators to moderate um, comments and posts and so comments and stuff like that. You can have a moderator to help you manage your page. Editors are allowed to actually edit the page, make posts and make changes. Um, they can't delete, delete or anything like that. Moderators get to moderate comments and stuff. Advertisers, um, obviously they get to advertise and then analysts get to go in and look at your analytics in your data to help you make decisions. Um, let's go down to the next one. Diversity info, not important. People in other pages, not important. Preferred audience issue, political, doesn't pertain to a lot of people. Um, ad limits, again, not too important for a beginner. Branded content, we're not going to worry about. Um, Instagram, this is where you would go to connect your Instagram. I highly recommend you do this because this will give you more benefits on your Instagram account. So you would just click connect account and this will um, easily, you'll just sign in with your Instagram account and then it will give you um, different features and insights on your um, Instagram because it will now be an Instagram business page. This will go for WhatsApp as well. You can connect your WhatsApp right here as well. Then you got your featured, your cross posting, um, page support inbox. If you were to message Facebook um, for anything right here, this is where your conversations will be stored. Um, page man management history will show you all of the stuff that has happened inside of your page. So if you do have other moderators or editors changing stuff, um, you'll be able to see it right here and make the necessary adjustments um, that you don't see fit. Uh, activity log will obviously just show you all the activity your page has done over the course of however much time it is this is your activity log um so it just shows you when you update a photo and stuff like that maybe if it's performing well who can see it it says share it with the public you can edit it if you want to delete it here or what how have you um let's go back um that's essentially it for the settings let's go back to our page real quick and just take a look at it um you can see 
uh, the few things right here, what you can do, um, the, the three dots right here next to promote promotes where you could like boost a post. We're not going to really talk about that on here. You can search your page. Um, the three dots, uh, allow you to do different things like invite all of your friends that you currently have on your Facebook. You can do that right here. Um, so you can like as your page, you can like it, you can follow it, but inviting your friends is, um, a good way to get your page started and boosted right out the gate. Um, again, you probably don't want to just invite friends that, it wouldn't relate to or what have you. You don't just want anybody following you. You want a good audience, but that's a good way to start getting your um, following up. And then if you want to um, create a post, you'll just go right here where it says create post. And then you would type something, um, whatever your post is. If you want to um, bring value to your audience, talk about your services, talk about different things like auto detailing, like proper, like for our page, we would, we would put articles out there on proper ways to detail your car, this and that, some good stuff, like good products we use or whatever. Um, don't necessarily just sit here and post all your services because that's not what this is for. Um, this is to engage with your audience and the people that follow you and to bring them value and insights and information um, free of charge. So I don't really recommend you boosting your, your company up right here by actually don't, don't try to sell products right here. Um, that's not what it's for every now and then if you're running a, a special or a discount, yes, make a post, let people be aware of it, but don't, don't do that every day. Don't be like, Oh, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Um, cause that'll just deter people from purchasing and ultimately not following your page. Um, and, and right here you could, um, boost posts. I, I'm not a big fan of this. There's better ways to advertise. So I never advocate that you do this, um, personally. Um, post scheduling is available in the publishing tools. If you want to schedule posts for the future, uh, you could jump right here, click publishing tools, go over to your publishing tools again on the left hand side, um, outside right here, publishing tools. Um, if you want to publish stuff, I think we kind of talked about it, or I think we overlooked it cause it's not too important. Um, that's if you want to publish, um, schedule post or, or kind of batch your content. It's not really meant for beginners that as you can see, um, but this is a good way to create posts in right here and you can schedule them for later. See, um, scheduled posts. We don't have any, um, you could create a post and you could schedule the time you want it to post. You can do that right here in the publishing tools. So, I, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope this helped you get your page started. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you have not already subscribe as well, and thanks everybody for being here. And as always, we will see you in the next video.